let's step back in time today and do some retro styles. You guys really liked my hair the other week in Quick Tip Tuesday when I looked like this. So I thought that I would give you a few pointers on how to do some retro pin curl. Now in that one, because some of you requested that one specifically, it's actually the ponytail that I'm going to show you with a nap taken on it. <laughs> So the pin curl is kind of covered up because I had fallen asleep that day. But this is look number one. It's my favorite down pin curl look. It's so easy. You can do it so fast. The ponytail you can dress up or dress down. It's a win-win situation. So I hope you guys enjoy and let me know what you think in the comments below. So you want to start out with some type of curl in your hair. It doesn't matter what. It could be the heatless curls, it could be natural curl. I went ahead and I curled my hair with my hot rollers. So if you need to know how to use hot rollers, there'll be a video right here. Me telling you completely how to put on them all over your head. So the first one we're gonna do is the two victory rolls on the side. And how I like to do that is I part my hair a little closer to center. Now the key to getting them to be a little puffy is teasing. So what I do is on the part to take that whole section down right in front of your ear. I'm using Alterna's oil gel that I've told you about before. I just like it for updos. I'm gonna run a little bit through so I have a little bit of hold. Now I'm going to roll this way. So what I want to do is put teasing in this area so that it's underneath everything. So I'm going to take small sections and just do a little bit of back combing to give it a base. So as you can see I've got a little puffiness there now so I'm going to comb it out. Now because I have bangs I have to watch this area right here but you're going to start by just taking your hair out rolling it around two fingers not tight, because if you do it tight, it's going to be hard to get those fingers out. And then you pin it into place. Now if you know me at all, you know I love giant bobby pins. They are lifesavers. I'm going to go in with just a few. And just like in the bobby pin video I showed you guys, we're going to go in the direction opposite of how we want it, bring it around and push down. And just that one is already holding it, but we want to make sure it's secure. So I'm going to come in over here, push it in the opposite direction, and then down. I'm taking my rat tail comb. I've already got some hairspray on it, so I'm just taming down those little flyaways and shaping my pin curl so that it looks normal. Now this can be alone. You can do this just the one side or you can do the opposite side with another pin curl. So up close this is what they look like. Spray a little bit. And this is look number one with the hair half down and two victory rolls. It's really fun, you guys. Let's do the ponytail. So now the ponytail is pretty much the same as the victory rolls, except it's one with the part a little further over and there's a little bit more teasing in it. This ponytail you can dress up with something retro, something like a dress or something, or you can just wear jeans and a t-shirt. I really like these new little hair ties that are really super stretchy. This time, rather than taking it straight down in front of the ear, we're going to take where this part is and kind of do a U-shaped parting, like so does not have to be perfect, just as long as it's a U. Get some teasing in there so it wants to sit nicely. Smooth it out a little bit. Not enough to take out your back combing. Once again, we're gonna do the two finger rule and we're going to wrap it around. Just roll that until you get down to the bottom. Now I like to set mine 
to where it looks like that. Because you don't want it to be out to where you can see through it, then take your bobby pin. And you might need a couple extra little bobby pins just to get it to really stay secure and in place. But that's what it should look like. Now, the smart thing to do, I would spray it some before I put it up in a ponytail, just so it doesn't start getting loose. Put a little back combing in the crown in the back so it's not so flat. And then just make a ponytail. Get that hair off your neck. Take your elastic, push it around. And if you're wanting this to look totally organic and not see this, you can take a little strand of hair out of your ponytail and wrap it around the base of your ponytail. Take bobby pin, just pin the ends in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, the retro inspired. Let me know how you guys enjoyed this and if you are not subscribed, be sure and click that subscribe button because we have fun tutorials like this all the time. And anything you want to see done in the future, just leave down there in the comments below and I will try my best to do them for you. Have a lovely week guys. See you next time. Bye.